Hello my lovely little weasels, in today's video I will be showing you guys how to profit from Operation Gargoyle's Cry Clan event. Now the last time we had an event, it was a long time ago in 2021, Operation Orphex Venom. I showed you guys how to profit back then, but in today's video we're gonna be making a little bit more platinum. Now how do we actually start the operation? The Whispers in the Wall's quest needs to be completed and you have to be in a clan. Now you can be your own clan or just a random clan. Inside that clan there should be a Gorgo statue already crafted because I did make this video a little bit later than everybody else. And inside of your clan dojo it should be crafted, access it, you have two options. You have basically contribute which is going to allow you to contribute uh, curses for you and you also your clan mates so they're going to be contributing as well uh, and you also have browse wares. Now you can contribute every single week, it does refresh, and once uh, the global bar, this bar right there, it gets filled up, we're also go gonna unlock a cool little cosmetic, the Kratos Sigma. Now, once we're talking about rewards, let's go and browse the wares. You can get the previous operation rewards, and you can also get something very, very good, Arcane Energize for 12 Grotesque Splinters, which we're gonna explain on how to form alongside curses in just a second. So. Basically, you have the Gargoyle, everything's done, you want to play the mission. A Fervo on Deimos is the place that you need to go, it is an assassination mission against the Murmur and the new Necromech faction, and also you're going to be fighting a boss there, the Fragmented and its three variants, or and or, keep that in mind, the Fragmented one is basically the 60 eyeball, uh, in quotation marks, hidden boss. So, let's cover everything that we need. Should you play solo or should you play with a squad? It is really dependent. I've been playing both. In the gameplay I will be playing solo but with a squad it can be definitely easier and honestly the, the, the levels do scale and health and everything. It's just that it's not that noticeable with a squad uh, and honestly the mission does run a little bit more smoother but it is personal preference. It is gonna be steel path uh, and not normal star chart. If you want to do normal star chart you definitely can, it is really good and easy but if you're not ready, uh, uh, actually if you are ready then go play the steel path variant. So we have covered that. Inside of the normal game mode you get one curse uh, and that is dependent on which variant of the fragmented one you are fighting and you also get one to three grotesque splinters. If you're playing Steel Path, you're gonna get two curses from the boss that you defeat, and you're also gonna get three to five splinter uh, grotesque splinters. Also, keeping in mind, there is a Void Angel inside of the mission, so you're gonna be getting Xeramon Arcanes as well. Uh, I think we all know how to defeat the Angel, basically lower its health, go inside of its Void, kill it with your Operator, leave outside, rinse and repeat for two more times, and that's basically it. You also get a Void Plume Pinion, which can trade in for Standing, Ceremon Standing, and or with Archimedes Yonta for 35,000 Kuva, which is very, very nice. And as I said, you get two Curses. Now, the curse depends on the fragmented variant, so you can get Scissorin will drop you the curse of knowing, Acronite will drop you the curse of seeing, and Zelator will drop you the curse of hearing. So basically it all depends on which variant you're fighting. If you're fighting the fragmented one, which is collecting 60 eyeballs instead of 30, you will get two curses of each type, so that is very very good, but the uh, grotesque splinters stay the same at 3 to 5 on steel path and you also get two steel essence which is very good i guess now we have covered that and my honest recommendation steel path and not fighting the 60 eyeball boss now how's the mission gonna look like basically what you're going to do enter the mission and then take those little uh, node thingies marked on the map uh that i guess you can see the name up on the screen put them in then the vitrium is going to seek out these lie balls that you're gonna have to collect 30 of them is going to be enough. As I said, you can do 60, but it's going to be a little bit more, more difficult. When I say a little bit more, a lot more bullet spongy. Uh, and after collecting 30 of them, what you can do, and you, uh, I mean, the meantime that you're going to be doing is killing the Void Angel, gaining that arcane, and then going to the boss killing the boss. Uh, if you're playing with a squad, you can split in two teams, like two people can go and kill the angel, two people can uh, collect the vitrium and the eyes, so that's how I did it with my squad, uh, but you defeat the boss and you get the, uh, the drops, you get the curses, 
for, don't forget to pick them up so keep that in mind you have to pick them up uh you get the curses that you uh, of course uh, need for contributing uh it is dependent as i said on the fragmented one you will get uh, uh the also some whispers the walls arcanes which are going to be very good the melee arcanes and that is also another source of income and then basically leave dimension, rinse and repeat. Now, what is the Warframe of choice, at least for me? Revenant uh, is gonna be my Warframe of choice and this is the build that I use on him. Uh, radiation damage is incredibly good against the fragmented ones and also the murmur enemies. So I'm gonna be using the Phantasma for my main damage source. Uh, and I'm gonna be using the Latum with Cascadia Flare, increasing the, my damage even more when heat procs and also using the new mod added into Warframe's roster, Accelerated Isotope, giving me even more radiation damage and more fire rate. On my Warframe, you did see I do have Arcane Velocity, increasing my secondary fire rate even more, so my honest recommendation is definitely the Latum. Melee is personal preference. Now, there are plenty of different Warframes that are really good with this. It is just in my personal opinion, I have had the most luck with Revenant, but it can be done with a lot of different Warframes. But basically, that is it. That is what you do. You get three different variants of Arcane. So you get the Ceremon Arcanes, which are worth around 100 Platinum. You get Arcane Energize guaranteed every four rounds, even if you get three uh, with the Grotesque Splinters. And you also gain a couple of resources. You can gain Kuva or even Zeremon standing, collecting the Voka on the map with uh, the Orkin Eye uh, supply drop from Parallax is also gonna be very good. So you're gaining uh, Kavia standing as well. This is an extremely good mission. Do this mission for the next four weeks and you are pretty much what's secure with Platinum for the next like at least eight or six months if you do it smart, but that is mostly it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did and I missed something, leave it in the comment section down below. If I didn't and you think I did a great job, leave a like and do subscribe for more. We are trying to reach at least 14,000 by the end of the year, so 500 more left. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel over and out.